Consciousness, How Our Brains Turn Matter Into Meaning, by John Parrington, is an exploration of the biological underpinnings of consciousness and the relationship between the physical brain and the subjective experience of the self. Parrington aims to bridge the gap between the realm of neuroscience and the philosophical inquiries into the nature of consciousness, reflecting on how the matter in our brains creates the rich tapestry of perceptions, thoughts, and emotions that define our existence. The book begins with an examination of the historical context of the study of consciousness, delving into both philosophical and scientific attempts to understand the mind. Parrington discusses the dualistic perspectives introduced by René Descartes, who famously separated the mind from the body. He then moves on to describe the advances in neuroscience that have challenged this dualism, highlighting the roles of different brain regions in processing sensory information and shaping our conscious experience. Parrington explores the various aspects of conscious experience, such as awareness, selfhood, and the sense of free will. He offers explanations grounded in neurobiology for complex phenomena like the unity of conscious experience, the idea that even though the brain processes different types of information in disparate regions, our experience is coherent and singular. Parrington also acknowledges the mysteries that remain, such as why and how particular arrangements of neurons and their activities generate subjective experiences. A significant portion of the book is dedicated to the examination of neural correlates of consciousness, the specific brain processes that seem to coincide with conscious awareness. He discusses the significance of the prefrontal cortex, the thalamus, and other cerebral structures in modulating our sense of being conscious beings. Parrington examines various theories that attempt to explain consciousness emergence, including the idea that it may be a state that evolved because of its advantageous role in decision-making and survival. Parrington delves into topics such as sleep, dreams, and the altered states of consciousness induced by psychoactive substances or neurological conditions, discussing how these phenomena can inform our understanding of consciousness. These states challenge the view that consciousness is a static condition, illustrating its dynamic and fluctuating nature. Throughout the book, Parrington evaluates different methodologies for studying consciousness, including neuroimaging techniques such as functional magnetic resonance imaging, fMRI, and positron emission tomography, PET. He emphasizes the limitations and potentials of these technologies in revealing the inner workings of the conscious mind. In discussing the subjective nature of experience, Parrington addresses the hard problem of consciousness coined by philosopher David Chalmers. This problem refers to the difficulty in explaining why we have qualitative experiences. While neuroscience can identify which brain areas are active during certain experiences, it struggles to explain why those activations are accompanied by a conscious experience. Parrington considers various philosophical stances and scientific theories that attempt to address this problem, from reductionism to emergentism and panpsychism. Parrington also evaluates the role of language and social interactions in shaping consciousness, suggesting that the human brain's ability to use language allows for the complex layering of thought and consciousness. He touches upon the social brain hypothesis, which posits that the development of larger, more complex brains in humans was driven in part by the need to navigate intricate social structures. The book then turns to the potential of artificial intelligence, AI, to emulate human consciousness. Parrington delves into the current state of AI research, the concept of the uncanny valley in human-robot interactions, and the question of whether a machine could ever truly be conscious. He acknowledges the advancements in AI and machine learning, yet remains cautious about equating AI behavior with human-like consciousness. In addressing the ethical implications of understanding consciousness, Parrington considers how our treatment of other animals might change if we can better recognize their experiences of consciousness and suffering. Furthermore, the book discusses the impact of research on consciousness in medical fields, including the treatment of mental health conditions and the care for patients in vegetative states or with serious brain injuries. Finally, the book concludes by acknowledging the continuous nature of the quest to understand consciousness. 
Parrington emphasizes the importance of interdisciplinary approaches, bringing together neuroscience, psychology, philosophy, AI research, and other fields to create a more cohesive picture of what consciousness is and how it arises from the interactions of billions of neurons in the brain. Consciousness, how our brains turn matter into meaning, ultimately provides a comprehensive overview of the current scientific understanding of consciousness while engaging with the enduring philosophical questions that have fascinated humans for centuries. The reader is left with a sense of the complexity and wonder of their own conscious experience, the remarkable organ that facilitates it, and the ongoing journey to unravel its mysteries. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.